Legendary musician Billy Joel has had a career full of awards, hit songs, and some multi-million dollar homes to retreat to on his off days. Not only has he owned a handful of homes in the Hamptons, he even sold one for nearly $20 million a few years back. Currently, he owns a couple of properties, his main one being a 15-acre mansion located in Oyster Bay. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Singer and songwriter Billy Joel might just be one of the most famed American artists of all time and a pop music icon who's managed to sell over 150 million records worldwide. On the way, he's earned a net worth estimated to be in the range of $225 million. Enter Billy Joel. Billy's story began with his birth in the Bronx. His father was a German businessman who fled from the Nazis only to meet Billy's English mother in the late 1930s at City College. As a kid, Billy had a love for all things music and formed his first band while still only in high school. By 1972, he had become a solo artist and attracted the attention of Columbia Records. He would go on to release a number of albums over the next five years, including his breakout project The Stranger in 1977, which would sell 10 million copies. After earning 23 Grammy nominations, including six wins, Joel would retire from actively recording new music in 1993. Ever since then, he's enjoyed his glory days while maintaining a monthly residency at Madison Square Garden and living in a series of homes strewn throughout the great state of New York. For instance, he owned a series of different homes in the Hamptons, the most recent of which he sold for nearly $20 million. These days, whenever the piano man is looking for a little R&R, he retires to something of a fixer-upper that he's owned for a number of years in the Long Island town of Sag Harbor. And finally, his primary residence is a 14,000 square foot home located on prime waterfront real estate. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're checking out where the most famous piano man Billy Joel calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. After having been raised in the Bronx, Billy Joel just couldn't shake his love for New York. Rather than move away from the hustle and bustle of the heavily populated state, Billy found himself a secluded beach house to enjoy whenever he felt the need to get away from the big city. Purchased in 2007 for just under $17 million, this stylish residence offers all the peace and quiet you'd expect from a lavish beach house, including that gentle ocean breeze and gorgeous views of the waves. The home was first built in 1994 by the late actor Roy Schneider, and I can only assume that Roy fell in love with this style of home after spending all that time shooting the Jaws franchise. He commissioned a 5,500 square foot two-story home with an exterior clad in classic Hampton shingles and an interior that includes four ensuite bedrooms, seven baths, two kitchens, four fireplaces, a separate music studio, and a garage large enough to fit two cars quite comfortably. Before we move to the inside, let's check out the surrounding area, including that lush green space out back that gives way to over 145 feet of sandy beach. And don't worry, if you'd prefer to stay in the shade, there's also a gigantic upper terrace that offers the perfect spot to enjoy a drink or two while the ocean breeze blows gently through your hair. Moving on to the interior, you'll probably notice something a little odd. Unlike most other residences, the bedrooms in Billy's place are all located on the bottom floor, while the other rooms are located on the second floor. Why this weird design choice? Well, it's most likely because that way the best views of the house are available through the floor to ceiling windows located in the main living spaces. Now let's check out a few of those rooms upstairs and start with the sprawling living room. You've not only got the beautiful views of the ocean through a series of open doors, but there's also the cathedral style ceiling with exposed beams that's almost nearly as stunning. Plus, there's that gorgeous brick fireplace flanked by a series of built-in bookcases. Next, let's move on to those kitchens. Yes, as in plural, because this home also contains a butler's pantry, which basically operates as a second kitchen. It's probably important to note at this point when Billy first bought the place, he was married to TV chef Katie Lee, so it kind of makes sense that this home would have two rooms dedicated to cooking, kind of. Much like in the living room, the primary kitchen has cathedral ceilings and some gorgeous hardwood flooring. 
As for those top of the line appliances, Katie no doubt took advantage of that huge wolf range, as well as the handy warming drawer and those butcher block counters for prep. When all the cooking was finished, Billy and his wife could enjoy their curated dishes in a dining room, featuring an egg shaped crystal and gold chandelier that hangs over the top of a kind of small table surrounded by some interesting dining room chairs. Moving downstairs, the master bedroom includes the 100% mandatory views of the ocean, not to mention its own fireplace, an eye catching ceiling design, and a color scheme that consists of shades of sand, cream, and green, accompanied by pops of orange accents. Most importantly of all, however, might be the piano room. I mean, Billy Joel is known as the piano man after all. Positioned next to yet another dramatic fireplace, Billy's grand piano makes a huge impression as soon as you step foot in the room. And of course, it offers ample seating around the instrument to allow for some impromptu concerts for whenever Billy was in the mood or entertaining guests. Simply put, Billy's Hamptons home was nothing short of spectacular. He spent almost seven years living on and off in the home before deciding to list the property in late 2013 for $22.5 million. At that price point though, no one was biting, so he dropped the total down to $19.95 million and finally sold the home in 2014. Next, let's check out Billy's present day vacation home. Billy first bought this property in 2002 for a reported price of $1.85 million. Now there are actually two houses located on the same property that for a long time have been somewhat awkwardly connected by a breezeway. To be honest, details on the interior of this estate are pretty scant, but over the past few years, Billy had applied for a number of permits to improve the overall layout of the property. It's through these permits that we learn the home contains four bedrooms, four baths, a piano room, and its very own elevator as well. First built in the 18th century, this home is located close to the sea, and over the years, it's been placed in an odd position, with the possibility of water levels rising by as much as 20 feet over the next three decades, thanks to global warming. Because of this, Billy has intended to raise and rotate one of the homes at considerable expense. After applying and being rejected a number of times with different ideas as to how to get this done, Billy's plan was finally approved in 2018 and construction began in 2020 to update his property accordingly. Whole sections of one of the two homes has now been pulled down to make way for renovations that will include the creation of a new two-story addition that will combine the two residences into one in a more permanent fashion. Billy also plans on raising the property by 30 feet to avoid any water damage in the future. And while it most definitely might not look like much right now, once all this hard work is through with, I have no doubt that Billy Joel's Sag Harbor getaway will be glorious. But in terms of where he's living full time, well don't worry because he's doing alright for himself. In fact, he's living in a mega mansion located on Center Island in Oyster Bay, New York. Perhaps the most surprising thing to find out about Billy Joel's main house, a 14,000 square foot castle located on 15 acres of waterfront which he bought in 2002 for $22.5 million, is the fact that for as almost as long as he's lived here, he's been trying to sell it. But before we get into the reasons why, first let's take a look at the home because simply put, it's stunning. Featuring 180 degrees of waterfront views, this gigantic estate boasts multiple residences, including a guest cottage with three bedrooms and two and a half baths, as well as a three bedroom, three bathroom beach house. Now in terms of the primary property, you'd be forgiven for thinking that it was built in the golden age with how dramatic it looks, but in actual fact, the home was built in 1994. The main house features five large bedrooms, three staff rooms, and the bonus homes are all meant to be used for any visiting guests. Since purchasing the property at the turn of the millennium, Billy has made a number of alterations to the home, including filling in an indoor pool and turning the space into a music room. Now this place has some killer acoustics perfect for his favorite pastime. And yet, even with that ridiculously high price tag, not to mention all that extra work, Billy still decided to try and offload this place as early as 2007. At the time, he claimed the reason was because he was unhappy that natural wildlife restrictions were in place that would prevent him from building a dock big enough to hold his three boats. So Billy placed his giant estate on the market and was asking $37.5 million, roughly $15 million more than what he originally spent on it only 5 years earlier. When no one bid, he dropped that number to $32 million, and still no one wanted it. Eventually, Billy came to the realization that he simply wasn't going to be able to move off of this white whale. It was too big and too personalized to sell. 
And while reports suggest that he's still kept his home on the market should anyone become interested, he's also continued to make it his primary residence for the last two decades. However, only a couple of years ago, Billy's home was broken into and vandalized while he was in the Big Apple performing at Madison Square Garden. Police say that the suspects damaged Billy's garage door, home office, and a dozen of his expensive motorcycles. And considering how much Billy loves his motorbikes, that last one probably stung a lot. After all, he once told Playboy, If the money disappeared, as long as they didn't take my motorcycles away, I think I'd be able to cope very well. Well, thank goodness he even owns his own repair shop in Oyster Bay as well, because I'm sure fixing those bikes wasn't cheap. Alright guys, that's going to bring this Billy Joel house tour to a close. After all of those properties, did you guys find favorites? I think mine was his main residence. I mean, it's hard to compete with that one. But how do you choose? Well, be sure to let me know your thoughts on his homes in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!